Jamie, uh, Surratt, can I invite you to come back to the stage? Uh, we got a special presentation. In June 2014, our industry lost a, a thought leader. During last year's convention in Savannah, Georgia, we announced the establishment of the Sally Bridegum McShevitz Innovation Award. Sally believed that innovation was a vital part of moving the industry forward and increasing customer satisfaction. The Sally Bridegum McShevitz Innovation Award celebrates innovation in equipment, processes, services, and products that advance the lead battery industry. Submissions for this award were opened in December and remained open through February of this year. BCI received 18 submissions from 17 companies. We then assembled a blue ribbon panel to judge each of these submissions and each submission was judged on eight areas. Sustainability, safety, cost, performance, detail, uniqueness, value, and quantifiable. Here are the entries. You can see the, uh, the entries on the screens. Well, we will have them later. I thought there were slides, but what we do want you to take a look at is a video that we've assembled of uh, most of the submissions for this year's award. The Sally Breidegum McShevitz Innovation Award was created in 2015 to honor an industry thought leader. Sally believed that innovation was a vital part of moving the industry forward and increasing customer satisfaction. The Sally Breidegum McShevitz Innovation Award celebrates innovation in equipment, processes, services, and products that advance the lead battery industry. Council International received 18 submissions from 17 companies. Today, we will showcase their innovations. After the total mixing process, then uh, the gel mixture is pumped to this uh, three filling connections. So each one works independent. And uh, this system has an intake and an outtake valve. It goes straight to the cell. And the rest of the gel, and as it comes out of the cell, is going to this buffer tank. And from there, it's pumped back to the uh, main mixing container. After the whole filling process is finished, then the uh, cells are taken out of the system and I'll put on the final charge. Hi, how are you? My name is Rich D from Club Assist. Motor clubs around the world have been challenged with stranded vehicles at the roadside in parking lots such as this. When a battery is merely discharged and not bad, the motoring club member has very little options. Either you can have the vehicle towed, which is an inconvenience, or you can have the battery jump started and now there's no guarantee that the vehicle will start again after that. Or go ahead and replace the battery, but why replace the battery when it's just merely discharged? Well, introducing to you the safe to start, the DC to DC fast charger. Within 15 minutes or less, this DC to DC fast charger, the safe to start, will go ahead and put up to 60 amps back into that discharged battery, getting the member right on the way. The Dura Life is one of Duramic's most successful products as a result of innovation and leadership. As the new third generation technology solution, Dura Life combines the best of all generations and designed for both conventional and start stop car batteries. 
The patented cross mini ribs design in DuraLife works as a boundary layer, which reduces the siphoning effect of H2SO4. In other smooth separators, this significantly reduces acid stratification and improves charge acceptance of the battery. Further to it, DuraLife keeps 45% less in trapped gas than standard separators, which leads to a much lower electrical resistance. This dramatically improves the battery performance. The new active formulation in DuraLife can increase oxidation resistance by 50% and also significantly reduce battery water loss by over 40% for antimony alloys. At the BCI conference in Savannah last May, Steve Wyke, Vice President of Technology and Engineering of Enersys, chaired a panel called Let's Get the Lead Out, designing lead admissions out of the manufacturing process. Mac Engineering, as one of those panelists, took the challenge seriously and partnered with Enersys to undertake redesigning one of the most difficult places to contain lead, the pasting area. The goal was to improve the process in ways which would not only benefit a specific battery manufacturer, but in ways which are generic enough that they could benefit the entire industry. The process included taking apart all of the current health and safety regulations already in the machinery and looking at the design with fresh eyes closing off any unnecessary openings, using sealed conveyors to transport flaked off paste to sealed drums, extending guards, eliminating places where lead dust can gather, creating more efficient ventilation ports, and leaving as little space as possible for any lead to collect. Both Mac Engineering and Equipment Company and Enersys believe that this is the beginning of a longer journey. Together with Münstermann, we did develop our first continuous curing chamber. Concure takes four hours, Buckborn takes six hours for L6 AGM batteries. Built on order plant was our target and we can now offer to build batteries in less than 12 hours. Okay. Hi, my name is Lawrence Fischer and I'm head of uh, business development and marketing. Münstermann. Münstermann is a uh, manufacturer of uh, high performance curing chambers for the battery industry. We are working together with Dr. Nietzsche for more than a decade now, and it's always a pleasure to put two innovations into the market. Actually, Münstermann is putting Dr. Nietzsche's ideas into the field. The Concour fast curing chambers are already used uh, for many companies all over the world. Okay, so your warehouse has a forklift, powered by an expensive battery that requires constant maintenance. Or maybe your warehouse has 10, 100, or 1,000 forklift batteries. You already know the important questions. Are my batteries being watered properly? Have any batteries been missed? How do I know critical maintenance was performed? But you don't know how to start organizing your workflow. We know your time is more valuable than managing the clutter of paper checklists and handwritten notes, and your bottom line would improve if your efforts were focused elsewhere. That's why we created Battery Steward. Battery Steward is a cloud-based solution designed to help you manage the watering, cleaning, and preventative maintenance of your batteries. Once you have access to that information, you can monitor their health over time and identify any hidden financial losses within your fleet. Battery Steward creates an easy-to-follow task list for managing the day-to-day. -day. Identifying labels make it easy to check off completed tasks, and customized alerts keep you informed of what's being completed, what's been missed, and what's coming up. Battery Steward keeps your team in sync with a centralized database, so you can invest your time into the things that matter for your business, and your batteries can enjoy a long, healthy life. Battery Steward by Flowrite. Several years ago, Gladfelter saw the need for a material that would enable battery manufacturers to economically produce both flooded idle stop start and heavy duty batteries. As the world's premier supplier of pasting paper, we capitalized on our knowledge of the pasting process and our understanding of fibers to develop a material that combines the cellulose fibers found in pasting paper and acid resistant synthetic fibers. These synthetic fibers are fused together in our paper manufacturing process to produce a porous web that retains its integrity in the battery 
and pre prevents shedding of the positive plate. By keeping the positive plate intact, the functional life of the battery is greatly extended. In order to quantify this life increase, we commissioned Dr. Pavlov and his team, including Dr. Rufsky, at the world-famous Bulgaria Academy of Sciences. They made flooded batteries with Dynagrid 328 and compared them with batteries made with other materials. This study showed that Dynagrid 328 increased the battery life by 30%. Over the past 150 years, lead batteries have been a powerful mainstay in the battery market, providing a cheap, reliable, and safe solution for applications across the board. It is also the first fully closed loop manufactured product system with over 98% of lead not only being recovered, but reused globally. Motivated by an emerging need for economic, robust, and recyclable energy storage for the distributed grid, Potential Energy has reinvented the lead battery while continuing to use many materials and standards well proven by the mature industry. By integrating silicon wafers and using a modular stacking architecture, Potential has ushered in a breakthrough level performance for the lead chemistry. All non-active lead has been removed, significantly improving energy density. A simplified and uniform current path eliminates current concentrations and electrolyte stratification, two key causes of premature aging. The first generation of silicon joule batteries can be discharged more deeply and last two to five times longer than traditional lead batteries, and they are fully recoverable and recyclable through the existing infrastructure. To date, Potential has built and tested over 200 6-volt alpha batteries utilizing standard active material from six major manufacturers across the globe. Two of these partners are now establishing pilot manufacturing lines for commercial-scale silicon joule batteries. Low cost, reliable, safe, and recyclable. Potentials. Let's talk about the Go battery. High-power VRLA technology for post-power applications. It all starts with a low-profile grid for low grid resistance and power. Here's one of the wound cells. They tell me GO stands for geometrically optimized. Now check out these cast on straps, two positive and two negative. After heat sealing into poly containers, posts are burned. When tested, this compact 5 amp hour cell delivers 600 watts per 10 seconds. That's more than 1,000 watts per kilogram. Here's a finished single cell. And here's another. The flange on the center core forms a cooling channel when stacked. Hey, check out the Go battery. It's air-cooled, any voltage, any size, any shape, and fits anywhere. I love it. Technology advancement is what we want to discuss today, specifically our patented cold form superlock terminal. Tulip manufactures an innovative acid ring design, eliminating the need for auxiliary coating. This patented solution allows plastic to shrink into an undercut area of the acid ring providing a superlock seal between the plastic cover and the lead terminal. This eliminates all acid migration between the cover and the terminal. The goal of this project was to test several different superlock acid ring designs and determine which design had the greatest resistance to acid leakage. In order to determine the optimal design for the superlock ring, we varied the overall diameter, the cross-sectional profile, and the spacing between the rings. After all the testing was performed for this experiment, the results were very evident. Two of the prototypes that we developed far exceed the performance of the other designs. We have since implemented these superlock designs into terminals for automotive, commercial, industrial, U1, and specialty areas, including lawnmower, Group 31, and marine terminals. We are very pleased that a Black Diamond Structures Technology Platform is being considered for the inaugural BCI Innovation Award. We are a developer and manufacturer of innovative nanomaterial products and solutions for the energy storage industry as well as other markets. Our mission is to take nanomaterial technology to a new level and unleash its power to improve the world. Molecular rebar is a proprietary technology it produces individual, high aspect ratio, clean, functionalized, and open-ended multi-wall carbon nanotubes. 
For ease of use and lead acid battery paste, these unique tubes are dispersed in an aqueous solution and delivered as a pourable liquid. The addition of our product solutions to the paste mix results in a stronger, smoother, and more uniform paste. When added to the active material, batteries will have improved charge acceptance and longer life under cycling protocols that are likely to induce sulfation. When added to the positive plates, our solutions greatly enhance the durability of plates that are subjected to the charge and discharge cycling. Reductions in charge times of 25 to 75 percent are confirmed by data from full-scale manufacturing lines. This data also confirms increased cycle life of 25 to 300 percent, plus reduced waste and improved production quality. This is an exciting new chapter for the performance of lead acid batteries in the demanding and growing field of energy storage. What is it about a bipolar battery design that really does make it a better battery? It's safe, it's reliable, it's lighter weight, it's longer lasting, and it's less expensive to manufacture than conventional lead acid batteries. We at Advanced Battery Concepts said, what are the main things preventing a bipolar battery from working? It's this edge seal rupture. A battery is built under compression, and that compression wants to blow the battery apart. And eventually, bam, you get an edge seal rupture and the game's over. I said, I think I can solve this problem. What is it that we really need to solve here to make a bipolar battery reliable, hit warranty, and still meet the cost points that people need today? I focused on how do I make this battery seal and reliable, and how do we use materials that are already used in batteries and processes that are already used in batteries to make them cost effective. And that's what we've done here at Advanced Battery Concepts. Made a reliable bipolar battery that can be used in today's applications, but more importantly, in tomorrow's applications. Where we can go from here with this Green Seal Bipolar Battery technology is it's a platform technology. We're using it today to make lead acid batteries better, and we're getting great results, but we're not done. We can use this technology with other advanced battery chemistries to make them even better too, and that's what we're working on next. We are proud to present the inaugural Sally Bradigan McChevitz Innovation Award to the Hammond Group. Accepting the award is Hammond's President and CEO, Terry Murphy. Terry?
Just really honored uh, for this, and I'll, I'll hand it off to Steve. Um, there's actually someone else in the room too that's a former employee of Hakeem Luzgarf's here. He's now president of uh, Exide uh, uh, Technologies, but uh, Hakeem was also a key player in uh, developing the K2. So, if Hakeem, if you're here, uh, come on up. If you're not, take a bow anyhow. Um, you know, Mark, I can't thank you enough. It's um, it's truly an honor. And on behalf of the Hammond team, um, our sincere thanks to BCI. Um, anything that honors the legacy of Sally Breidigan McShevitz um, is, is really makes us speechless. Um, I knew Sally pretty well, and she and I shared a vision, and I, she really appreciated the emerging markets. Uh, she understood energy storage, micro hybrids, and how that would really affect our industry going forward. Uh, she was instrumental, truly instrumental, in our investment into the, the K2 product and certainly into uh, the labs. Uh, so I'm, I'm really deeply moved uh, to be accepting this. And I think the other, other 18 entries, it's, it's safe to say when you look at these entries, I think she catalyzed the entire industry. I think there's a there's a turnaround, and you can feel it in the crowd here that there's a lot of innovation going on, and um, you know, I, I think she really laid the groundwork for that. There's a, on our video, uh, and, and Mark has been known to say this, and we kind of call it the happy irony. Um, and the happy irony is that lead, one of the Earth's most vilified elements, may be the single most important element in reducing CO2 emissions. Uh, and I think that's something that uh, we can kind of hang our hat on and certainly a conversation that I had with Sally many times. But again, it doesn't happen by accident. It takes innovation. Um, and Sally, like Bruce Drucker, believed that innovation created opportunities. It was like Andy was talking about earlier. That's not the other way around. You have to innovate and then the markets will come. Consumers didn't say, I need an iPhone. Apple invented one, and you saw what happened. So she believed in creating markets. Um, and I think as an industry, we need to continue to innovate and to try and create these markets. Um, Cost-effective, sustainable energy storage, as we heard this morning, is absolutely essential. It is the holy grail. Lithium-ion batteries are not the answer. Weight. And, and size is not a big deal if you're talking about energy storage for grids and for home use. And we all heard, of course, of uh, sustainability. The biggest drawback that we saw in lead acid batteries was charge acceptance and cycle life. And so for the past couple of years, our money, our investment has been really heavily focused on getting through that. And what you saw in the video was, you know, indications of magnificent changes in these properties, 10x, 20x changes. And those are at cell level, and of course batteries are always gonna be different, but the fact of the matter is we have developed compounds that are allowing lead acid batteries to behave like lithium ion batteries for 20% of the cost. So, you know, we've demonstrated that. The ultra battery at East Penn that Sally had la helped launch uh, has a lot of those capabilities. So, you know, both companies have been working very hard on this whole thing about charge acceptance. So I think here's our real challenge as an industry, and, uh, you know, the previous speaker was talking about it. Can we come together, and can lead acid fulfill these emerging markets? Uh, it's been long written off that lead acid is a unfit for advanced technology. Uh, but in fact, it is the right answer for both the micro hybrids and for energy storage. Sally had that vision, and I think today we as an industry can begin to realize her vision and her legacy. And so I just want to say thank you, Sally, for the inspiration, and hopefully we as a group won't let you down. Thank you very much.